All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to another video on the True Footy YouTube channel. This time we're looking at my tips for round three. Obviously, round two didn't quite go to plan. Obviously, my Eagles got annihilated, but on top of that, didn't do too well in the tipping. I'll go through it now. On the Thursday night, I think everyone got a point because Collingwood drew with Richmond. I tipped Collingwood by 17. Uh, Geelong against Hawthorne, the game we live streamed for. I tipped Geelong, but uh, didn't quite think the margin would quite be what it was. Brisbane then beat Fremantle, closer going than I was expecting, so I got that one correct. So, so far, three out of three, but then it just goes downhill from there. I boldly tipped Carlton, and they fell one point short. But Adelaide over Adelaide was an easy win, and then Gold Coast beat West Coast, and I think only like two or three people in the competition tipped uh, Gold Coast to win, and one of them was a Suns fan, and I think he's fairly high up. I'll have a look at who's winning in a second. Then another one, pretty much everyone got wrong, I think except one person. Uh, I tipped GWS to beat North Melbourne. I correctly tipped Essendon to beat Sydney, which was pretty close. And uh, St. Kilda obviously beat the Bulldogs in a bit of an upset. Uh, I tipped the Dogs, and uh, they got nowhere near it. So we'll have a look at the leaderboard, guys. The best tip of this round was someone called Gravy with seven t uh, correct tips and the margin of 17. But the overall winner is someone called Julian, who has 15 and a margin of 22. So well done to you two guys. I currently sit in 73rd with 11 correct tips so things are not going so well but i'm going to power through i'm still going to be doing my weekly tips and i still like to tip bravely even though that strategy hasn't worked so far in 2020. so guys if you've been watching for a while you know that i'm going to be doing this tips video every week but i'm doing a little bit of a rejig with the format you might have noticed i'm doing a review video as best i can at the start of the week i am going to be doing it differently today though and probably going forward i'm going to be using the website squiggle and you can watch along with me as i put in my prediction and the cool thing about it is it actually shows you the live ladder as you go. We can have a look at the ladder now. Obviously, Port Adelaide sit on top with 290%. North Melbourne in second spot. Not many people would pick those for top two after two rounds. I guess uh, Port's had some easy opponents, but North obviously overcame GWS in a huge upset victory. Essendon, the only one of only three sides to be 2-0 and with two six-point wins. Pretty good effort. Uh, Collingwood Richmond obviously had to draw the Saints by themselves in six ahead of Geelong and GWS. My boys, West Coast, languishing in 12th along with the Brisbane Lions, who had a disappointing round one. Gold Coast in 10th spot. I think that might be as high as they get this year, to be honest. I know they smashed the Eagles like we discussed, but to be honest, I think anyone would have beaten the Eagles quite easily the way they played on the weekend. Down the bottom of the ladder, you've got the Bulldogs with 47%. They, I don't want to be reactionary, but I think they're looking closer and closer like a bottom four side. We really need to see a lift from them. Someone who I do think has emerged as probably the number one contender for the spoon is the Adelaide Crows. It all, well, much depends on how they go against Gold Coast. I think it might even be this week they play. I haven't looked ahead. So pretty standard, guys. I'm going to go through each game and predict the winner and the margin. So first of all, we've got Richmond and Hawthorne. I think it's a Thursday night. Uh, Hawthorne obviously 13th at the moment. Richmond had uh, an up and down start to the year. I don't think they played particularly well against Collingwood. And Hawthorne were very poor at GMHBA Stadium after beating Brisbane in round one. It's really hard to get a handle on form lines right now. I don't even know where teams are in terms of their conditioning. It looks like, you know, Hawthorne, GWS, West Coast, those sides came back incredibly unfit. Um, and you could say the same about someone like Collingwood who struggled to run out the game. I'm just going to play it. On face value, I think Richmond is comfortably a better side, so I'm going to tip them to win this by about four goals. Bulldogs versus GWS. It's hard to believe this is 18th versus 8th when last year it was the elimination final. It's at Marvel Stadium, which gives the Doggies a chance. Despite GWS faltering last week against North, they're not playing anywhere near as badly as the Bulldogs, who I can't really put my finger on right now as to what's going wrong. But I'm going to have to back the better team here. And I'll say the uh, Giants rather win by 21 points. North Melbourne versus Sydney. This is uh, surprisingly third versus ninth. Two teams I didn't have particularly high in my prediction. North are flying at the moment. 2-0. Uh, that massively good win against St. Kilda. And then an even better win against GWS. They'll be licking their lips. There's a good chance for them to go 3-0. Sydney have been playing fairly well. They're 1-1. and They've beaten Adelaide and fallen short against the, uh, the Bombers. That being said, I do think I'll favour the home side here. I think North are a better side. Sydney will push them. It'll be a close game, but I'm going to tip North to go 3-0. Next up, we have what 
Should kind of be a straightforward game, I think, for the Pies. It's at the MCG, which helps if it was at Marvel. I'd probably sway it a little bit further the other way, although overall, it's still hard to go past Collingwood, who are, you know, one of the best-looking teams in Round 1. And then in Round 2, they started really well against the Tigers, like I alluded to before, but ended so poorly that it's a little bit alarming. St. Kilda... You know, they've played maybe six good quarters so far out of eight, and the two they lost, I think, against North were really quite poor. So it's hard to put a finger on it. Again, I'm going to try not to read too much into form lines. I'm going to go with the team I think is better. Sorry, Saints fans. I'm going to tip against you again. I'm going to say Collingwood by 29 points. Brisbane Lions and West Coast at the Gabba. The Brisbane game was interesting against Freo. I thought it was a good game. Not many people gave Fremantle too much of a chance. I don't know if Brisbane played super well, but I'd also think Fremantle actually played to a reasonable level. Uh, it's going to be dewy conditions here. Brisbane on form are clearly the better side of these two. West Coast, I don't think, handle Queensland conditions well. That's not an excuse for losing to Gold Coast because they there was a million variables into why they lost that game. But it's hard to give my boys too much of a chance. We don't travel well to the Gabba. We don't have a good record, I don't think, against Brisbane, even factoring in that they've been, you know, a rebuilding side for so many years. I'm not confident at all. I'm going to sip the Lions to win this by 38 points. Yes. I don't think the Eagles will snap out of it this week. Hopefully, the following week against Port, we pull the finger out. Geelong versus Carlton at Cardinia Park. Now, we, we're still trying to ascertain exactly what advantage Geelong will have at GMHBA with no crowd. It's still a bit of an unknown, but they did annihilate Hawthorne there. Um, and I don't think Hawthorne are a half-bad side, so I'm tipping Carlton to struggle similarly. They didn't play particularly well against Melbourne. They finished fast, probably should have won the game with the opportunities they had. They started so poorly. Um, I can't see them overcoming a seasoned Geelong side that will be full of confidence and they rebounded really well after a poor round one. I'm going to tip Geelong to win this by a good, healthy 50 points. This is a still bottom of the ladder clash, I think. I'm not getting too ahead of the Gold Coast. Like I said, I think any side would have beaten the Eagles. I literally believe that any side would have beaten the Eagles. The Gold Coast sort of got their tails up, and while they played really well, they started to get a lot of confidence from the fact the Eagles weren't really offering too much of a challenge. That being said, they should take a lot from that game, and I'm impressed, but... I don't know how good they really are. That being said, they're coming up against Adelaide, who are probably the close to the worst side so far in the first two rounds. Obviously, a terrible showing against Port Adelaide and losing at home to Sydney, who, in my opinion, rebuilding. That's a pretty crap start to the year. Look, at Metricon Stadium again, I think Gold Coast are going to win this game. I'll give it to them by 18 points. Essendon versus Melbourne. I wonder if Backyard Charizard is watching this. He uh, he threw a bit of shade at me in the preseason for suggesting Essendon were better than Melbourne. Look, at the start, to start the year, Essendon have beaten Fremantle and Sydney by six points each. Uh, both games, uh, I wouldn't say overly convincing, particularly that first one, but the second one against Sydney... You know, a reasonable performance. It's always hard to win in Sydney, despite, no, regardless of where they are on the ladder. So they're sort of trucking along okay, whereas Melbourne, you know, they had a bad round one, kind of. We, the Eagles were playing pretty well that game. And then a round two, a very unconvincing win over Carlton. Look, I'm sorry to say it. Whatever you think about the total talent between these sides and how they compare, I'm only going to have to tip Essendon to win this. I won't, it won't be a belting buddy means. I'll give him a 20-point win for that. Next up, we have a genuine neutral hub game. This might be the first genuine neutral hub game to come so far. Fremantle versus Port at Metricon. Uh, this is a tough one because I think Port are flying at the moment, but I think Fremantle can be fairly satisfied with their performances so far. They nearly overcame Essendon in Melbourne in round one, and they're a young rebuilding side. And then in the Gabba, they pushed Brisbane all the way and were unlucky not to uh, to get even closer than 12 points. I'm tempted not to read too much into Port's form against Gold Coast and Adelaide. Two very easy wins, it has to be said, but they've also been playing full of confidence. I think I'm going to tip the power here, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. I'm going to tip them by 14 points. And I think that is it. We've come to the end of round three, so I won't go any further than that. And we'll look at what the ladder would be at the end of the round. So we've still got Port and North at the top. 
uh, and Essendon third. So three, the three undefeated teams will stay undefeated, uh, according to me. Collingwood and Richmond, that top five is pretty much the same, if I'm not mistaken. Geelong, GWS, and then the Lions will shoot up into the eight. My boys, the Eagles have slid down to 14. That is heinous with a percentage of 77.3. Hopefully, I am not too accurate on that one. Uh, Gold Coast, St. Kilda. Oh, I have the Gold Coast moving up to ninth, so maybe that isn't the highest they'll go this year. And uh, Hawthorne languishing in 13th as well. I'd imagine they'll finish higher than that. And the bottom four is starting to take shape. Fremantle, Carlton, Adelaide, and the Bulldogs, all 0-3. I'd give Fremantle and Carlton the chance of climbing out of there by the end of the year. The Bulldogs, we'll see. We'll see, because if they keep playing like this, I'm not going to be convinced. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of my tips, as you always do, but I welcome the feedback. Feel free to use the link in the description to join our footing tipping competition. I'm probably going to take it out of the description soon, because uh, there's no point in people joining in later and later in the season. But uh, for now, I think it should still be okay. So join in and just add to the growing list of people that are going to finish higher than me. Anyway, guys, I think at this stage, we're going to do a Brisbane versus West Coast live stream on True Footy Live, so make sure you get around it. Saturday night, 5.30 Perth time, 7.30 Melbourne time. Hope to see you there. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you somewhere on YouTube very soon. Cheers.